Well, tonight, the University of Louisville says it's taking a closer look at its contract and naming rights for Papa John's Cardinal Stadium. Good afternoon. I'm Rachel Platt. The fallout continues after Papa John's founder, founder John Schnatter, admitted to using the N-word in a conference call. Overnight, he stepped down as chairman of that company that began out of a broom closet in Jeffersonville. Schnatter has also resigned from the Board of Trustees at UofL. His name is on several important landmarks around our area, including the football stadium at UofL and an entrepreneur center on campus. His name attached to the Louisville Zoo and across the river at the Nahan Field House in Jeffersonville. UofL's president says they are currently evaluating what their next step will be. I need to be truthful with you. You also have to separate the organization, which is how many thousands of employees, when you think about the individual versus the organization. That's a really great question. So think about this. These are men and women in your neighborhood who work in jobs all over. So this is a, a difficult question that I don't yet know the answer to. WHAS 11's Derek Rowe spent the day at the university. He's going to have more from Dr. Ben Deputy and others in our community. That is still ahead at 5 o'clock. Well, overnight again, John Schnatter stepping down as chairman of the company he founded. It came just hours after apologizing for using a racial slur in a conference call. So how does that company rebound amid all of this negative publicity? Our Shay McAllister talking with marketing and crisis experts for their advice today. Shay, big story. Right, Rachel, and just minutes ago we're learning Papa John's is already seeing some fallout. The MLB announcing they will be indefinitely suspending a promotional program called Papa Slams, which offered coupons to customers during games. But experts say that Papa John's is actually moving in the right direction toward recovery. And even though stores like this one behind me may not seem all that different, they tell us there are big changes underway. Every day we use better ingredients, and every day we make better pizza. Pizza mogul John Schnatter has been the face of Papa John's since its founding in the 1980s. But recent scandals surrounding Schnatter means you won't be seeing his face on this business forefront anymore. But I think the further that they let this uh, issue uh, part, I think the better that it will be for the company. Public relations expert Bob Gunnell says Schnatter and business leaders did the right thing after allegations of racist comments surfaced on Wednesday. Schnatter quickly apologizing and resigning from the board. They have to continue to show that they are a company that is compassionate and that cares about all communities that they represent. I think that they need to be uh, extremely sensitive uh, to um, anyone that they offended. Uh, and I think that they have to do some outreach from this point forward. Experts say a situation like this one can be detrimental to a business future if leaders don't act appropriately right away. But in this case, the company did it right, according to the Institute for Crisis Management CEO, Deborah Heilman. I think it will take some time, certainly, but um, our cravings for good pizza, I think, will overcome our feelings about one individual and we will be able to forgive the brand because they have done the right thing to separate themselves from the individual who was causing damage to the brand. She says the business has already taken the first steps to recovery, but we won't know the scandal's true impact on Papa John's until publicity dies down. And Rachel, both of the experts we're talking to today say it's going to be the next three months that really determine how this company moves forward. They also both point to community outreach, saying that is the number one thing that needs to happen now. Live in downtown Louisville, I'm Shay McAllister, WHAS 11 News. All right, Shay, thank you so much. Schnatter is truly a self-made millionaire, at one time a billionaire. He began cooking pizzas out of a broom closet after college and founded Papa John's right here in Kentuckiana back in 1984. But the pizza mogul has faced plenty of controversy. In 2012, Schnatter faced immense backlash after saying he didn't support the Affordable Care Act, telling customers it would raise pizza prices. John Schnatter stepped down as the company's CEO in December of last year two months after he publicly criticized the NFL leadership over national anthem protests by football players.